Hey guys! Today we're making another video with Desi Oakley. Oakley! Woo! She's been in Wicked, Annie, Lay Miss, Chicago, Rachel, and Ah Vita. So let's get on to the video. Here we go! goodness how did I get into theater well I grew up in Wichita Kansas and Wichita Kansas there's an amazing regional theater there called music theater of Wichita I was actually just talking to my mom about it I'm here I was just in Wichita visiting my family safely during the pandemic right. and that theater changed my life I was young and I had no idea when I was there I thought I was just doing community theater no no friends I was sitting on the laps at eight years old of Kelly O'Hara okay casual <laughs> I kid you like I kid you not you guys like I thought you know you know I, I grew up actually with my grandmother who said hey all of you guys need to be supporting live theater you need to be going to the theater and actually hey kids you can audition and we were like what so a couple of my cousins and I auditioned I'm the only one that's continued doing it but they had fun mm -hmm. and it was kind of like a summer camp for like kids, you know, you're in it for like, you know, one scene, you're running across the stage, you know, w waving at, at the lead, but I was in it, you know, right. and so that kind of experience it, with, with these stars. So I had no idea when I was auditioning for, I'm in Wichita, Kansas, right? I'm right. like, I had no clue right, right. that these were Broadway stars coming in to star in the show. Mm -hmm. I'm eight. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to like go play, you know, like some of my friends did soccer and some of my friends danced and I did the shows, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I had no idea that I was learning from these incredible artists, mm -hmm. these incredible, and like, not only talented but just the kindest most loving people who 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 love what they do who love what they do and 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 poured into this small child who <laughs> me who was you know like tell me everything you know right. I want to know everything and then that was the that was the time I did summer after summer there started playing leading roles wow. you know started making working my way up mm -hmm. the more experience that you have right mm -hmm. the more um you know responsibility you can you can take on and so I started learning and, and doing my best there and um I like came home and told my parents I said you guys I said did you I said did you know that you can major in musical theater in college and they were like cool. I mean, right. I was like learning all of this there. Mm -hmm. And the, the ensemble was, was, um, made up of college students. Mm -hmm. Um, and so college students were getting this experience as well as these young people who mm -hmm. were locals in Wichita. Mm -hmm. And I got to talk to them about all of their college experiences. And so I got, people were taking me under their wing. And so let me tell you, when you ask me, my friend, how I get started in theater, it's a unique way. Mm -hmm. It's a way that is, it was like, kind here I was thinking I was just, say that again. Kind of like a movie. I'm telling you. <laughs> it feels so, and like in the middle of Kansas. Right. Yeah. Of Kansas. <laughs> what I mean? You're like, what? Right. And, and, and those experiences shaped me. Those experiences are why I'm here and why I've done everything that I have done up until now. I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky. So here I was thinking I was just going to my backyard doing some theater. Like, <laughs> oh, community. I thought it was like a community theater. Little did I know. Kelly O'Hara, my friends. And I'm just naming her as an example. There mm. are hundreds of stars. Hundreds. Oh, wow. Um, I'm totally jealous. I want to go to summer camp with Kelly O'Hara. Right. I was <laughs> like, what? Right. It's amazing. It's it's so that's how I got started. And then and then I um was able to learn about musicals by doing them. Mm -hmm. So I was in musicals learning the music and learning what they meant and it was so such a special time of my life that shaped so much of my career. So I really credit my grandmother for telling us about it, okay? And I credit that theater and the producing director there, Wayne Bryan, who really took me under his wing and said, hey, this is how this works if you want to do it. Right. You know? And made that possible for me. Okay. 
Um, what is your favorite show mishap? Um, tripping on flour <laughs> that I put on the slipping, more so slipping on flour that I put on the stage because I was baking in what baking can do. Mm-hmm. And there's this moment where, oh, in waitress, sorry, I'm in waitress. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm playing Jenna. Sorry. I just jumped into it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm doing what baking can do. And there's this moment at the end of the song, what baking can do. Where she takes the dough and she tosses it in this, but this like, bin of flour not a bin of flour like a, like a bowl of flour mm. and I loved that it. it made this big puff I loved it and it's on the word flour sugar butter flour right mm. I love that it was like whew, right yeah. right before the end of the song well they said to me they said to me Desi you're making a big mess on the stage when you're doing it like that and I said well you guys I like that it makes a big puff of flour right. so, mm-hmm. and they said but Desi you're making a mess on the stage. Oh. I said, okay. I said, okay, I'll try to, I'll try to, you know, contain myself. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> got, nope. Nope. I got caught up with myself. I got caught up in the moment. Well, sure enough, guess who paid for it? You. <laughs> we go to the next scene. Guess who tripped, guess who slipped on the flower? Me. So you better believe that next time I did what baking can do. I said, sugar, butter, don't let me right I said I said I don't want to suck right. I yeah. so I slipped all the way out my friends so sometimes actually this is a little fun fact there is you know on tour you go from house to house and you go from city to city and you go from theater to theater okay and so a lot of the times I'm teaching a new dresser mm-hmm. my changes you know, and people don't think about these things on tour, right? Yeah, They're yeah. different from the Broadway company. The Broadway company, you have your dresser every day unless they're they're out sick or they have a vacation, and you know the sub, mm-hmm. right? So you know all the people that yeah. are going to be doing your quick changes. Yeah. On tour, you meet somebody new every week. So sometimes mm-hmm. these changes would go really smoothly. Mm-hmm. Other times, live theater folks, we're not robots, right? Mm-hmm. So I would come off the stage for this quick change after what baking can do to go into the doctor's office. Okay. So there's a scene where we first meet the doctor Mm -hmm. and what they do is I, I I actually change from my little baking uniform into a doctor's gown, kind of like what you would sit in for a doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. Um, and occasionally the girls were talking, they were like, Hey, sometimes they take your socks off and sometimes you leave your socks on. It depends on how much time you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I liked that my socks were off because I thought that would be a little bit more authentic, like that she would have, you know, taken off her socks and Mm -hmm. her sneakers and her little, you know, she would have gotten ready for the doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. Well, this one time I happened to keep my socks on and those socks and that flower babies, she (laughs) just, I went, I bit it. I'm, t- I'm literally saying that my feet flew in the air. Guys, it was not subtle. Like, it was not savable. What did the audience say? Not- laughed. Laughed. <laughs> laughed. Were you like, laughed, oh laughed, my laughed. God. <laughs> Think about it. Right. Like, what? there's no, like, my character didn't slip in that moment. Right. Desi right. Slipped. On the stage. Anyway, and my co-star at the time could not recover. And then the audience was laughing at him, laughing at me. It was, that's my favorite mishap because <laughs> no one was hurt. Like, right, no one was yeah, hurt. Right. You know what I mean? And I like it because it was my fault. I can't uh-huh, blame yeah. anybody but myself. Right. <laughs> like, you just put a flower. Yeah. So. They told me. Yeah. They told me over and over and over again. And they said, Desi, like- you're making a big mess. And other actors would say, like, you know, a stage manager or somebody else on the crew would say, gosh, there's a lot of flour on the stage. And the actors even res- like respectfully would be like, <laughs> like, yeah. it's, like it's, it's, I just like, I liked to make it authentic mm-hmm. because my character's a pie was a pie baker. Right. And I, we don't have an oven on stage and I can't pull out an actual pie, but I liked it to look like we were really doing it mm-hmm. yeah. anyway. So I paid for it. That's my favorite mishap. I love that story. <laughs> Thank you for letting me tell it. Um, what is your favorite thing to do during quarantine? Oh, honey, I like that question. Okay. Um, I've been teaching a lot. I've been connecting with young people who are aspiring artists and singers and songwriters. I've been writing songs and teaching people how to write songs. Um, I believe that everybody can be a songwriter. You don't have to play an instrument. You don't have to even have a good voice. Mm -hmm. Anybody can write a song if you have something to say. And I feel like that's been such a beautiful way to heal during this time, it's yeah, really yeah. difficult to be away from everybody. We're losing the, the connection with people in, in real life. And so I think it's such a great 
a great way to express ourselves. And I've been able to use Zoom like this in this moment, this like these connections that we wouldn't be able to have without, you know, the, this, I know we're all a little tired of Zoom, yeah. you know, <laughs> I know. Um, but it's still a blessing for moments really like this. Is, and yeah. Yes, we have to take a minute, and even though we're sick of it, to say thank you, Zoom. Thank so, you, Zoom. <laughs> So, um, we're, yeah, so I've been spending a lot of time working with young people and encouraging them and doing some like fun, um, virtual concerts. That's a new setup for me, honeys. I've got to, you know, got to get your piano and your keyboard and your, you know, and it doesn't matter if you're wearing sweatpants on the bottom because nobody can see. see. And it's a, that's the perk. Um, so anyway, I've been staying busy and trying to connect as, as many ways as I can, um, virtually. And, um, staying safe, wearing a mask everywhere I go and trying to stay home as much as possible. It's funny you say that because I think we had an interview on Tuesday and I was wearing my pajama pants under it. But my shirt was nice, but my pajama pants were nice. Of course you were. Yeah. That's the 2020 uniform. That's the uniform. (laughs) I've even seen people with my friend the other day did an interview, like a full interview in a tie suit, (laughs) had a suit shirt, a tie, a jacket, and little, um, Basketball shorts. Yeah, they can't see it. They can't see it. They can't see it. Right. And the mistake would be is it's like, you know, if some if somebody comes to your door or if like you need to plug in your computer right, and you're like, right. oh my uh, God. <laughs> like I you're always, like shuffling. I always just change my shirt and just keep my pajama pants because the most comfortable. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be sitting in this chair yeah. for like so many hours. Mm-hmm. Why even be yeah. uncomfortable? That's exactly right. And I do these. I do my blue lights. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if we're looking at the screen and stuff, I think they help a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, I mean. It might be psychological. I don't know, but I I think they're cute. Mm-hmm. I think they're cute. Yeah. So I don't wear them. Mm-hmm. So anyway, yeah, that's fun. I love that you did that because I do that all the time. No shame. No shame. <laughs> okay, so this question is a little confusing. So I'll say it like two ways. Um, what okay. movie would you want to turn to a musical, and what musical would you want to turn to a movie? Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So there's this. There's this. That's a great question. I love this question. Okay, so. There is a movie called About Time. Okay. It's Rachel McAdams. And it it is mostly a British cast. Mm-hmm. And I like am obsessed with it. And I think it could be so it's it's told genuinely, but it's there's an there's a little bit of a magic element to it that if it was brought to life on stage, it could just be like it would remind me of um Talk Everlasting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Different yeah. story. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I get it. But you know how, like, you know how, like, it's a little far fetched, but you go with it because you're like, <laughs> right. Oh, this is incredible, right? right. And like, huh. they tell it genuinely. It's like that. Mm-hmm. So I want to see that turned into a musical, and I've been playing around with adapting it and like writing some of it. Um, but I think the rights are already, you know, taken, which means somebody out there yeah, might be it. making it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's it's really beautiful and it's a story about family and it's a story about like I don't know remembering what's important you know and I think I can just see that you know musicals are like they are either telling a beautiful time, you know time of history or they're teaching us a lesson like that you know and those those times those things are so important that's those elements are what make musicals so special like if I can go and learn something about history or I can go and learn something about myself you know it's just that's why it exists isn't it magic yes. you agree yes yeah. when i saw wicked that's kind of how i was feeling like like yep. that wow this is really uh-huh. what broadway is also spongebob too but i was sometimes was more like a shock that i was feeling that I was like wow that was that was really good so yeah, yeah. yes i love that feeling yeah where you're literally like oh my god, god. right because like, i didn't expect SpongeBob like, to be that good and when i like like saw it i was like this is really good. Yes. Yeah. yes. I love that moment. Mm-hmm. I love that moment. And um, especially when you're like, it's SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. This is a story right. it's about a cartoon. Right, right. How could this be so moving? Mm-hmm. You know, it's those moments are what, you know, really makes Broadway and musical theater as a whole so special. Right, yeah. What was your favorite musical to do? Oh, my goodness. See, that's just impossible to answer. Because all of the ones that I have done, I feel like have totally shaped me and given me these experiences that made me who I am as a person and as a performer, right? 
Okay, okay, okay. For the sake of the question, I will answer. Um, can I narrow it down? I can't say all of them. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I'll, say, I'll narrow it down. Mm-hmm. I'll pick a couple. You can do three. So I would. Top oh, three. Woo! Yeah, top I get three. three. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna say Jenna in Waitress. The show Waitress is so special, and it's exactly like what we were just talking about. It gives people perspective, and it opens people's minds, and it, you know, it changed people, it changed audiences, and being a part of something like that, you know, and same, same with Wicked, though I'm not using Wicked as one of my answers yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I would say Waitress because the show itself, I was serving a greater good way, for, way far outside of just myself. I think... And to be very candid, I think I felt that pressure sometimes. I think I knew that this was making such an impact. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself, Mm -hmm. right? That happens a lot with performers. Well, it happens a lot with human beings, right? right. Uh, That's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. Um, So let's say waitress. Um, Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to say Chicago because I played Roxy Hart in Chicago. And this show is Oh my goodness, I almost said killer. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is that was no pun intended, but kind of pun intended. Right, right. The show killer. I love Chicago. It's, it is so much fun. And the fact that that show has been running for as long 26 yeah, years. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. What? I know, and right? Like, mind-blowing. The choreography is t- Timeless, that Bob Fosse, and when you see that ensemble all moving together and like each one individual, oh, gives me chills. I've chills. I've literally chills thinking about it. Um, and I just did one shoulder roll, dolls. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, I would say Chicago because it was so iconic. Yeah. It's so iconic, and I had so much freedom on stage playing a role like Roxy, and people, I think ask me often you know if I felt the opposite of freedom because I was doing something that like so many women have played um you know was I able to make it my own and I was and I just love the people there and I love the folks there at Chicago they're just incredible okay so that's two wait was the question what was my favorite show or my favorite role (laughs) favorite uh musical yeah favorite musical to do okay so I've been on the right track yeah Mm -hmm. sing well, then we have to say Wicked. We have to say Wicked. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, we can't not say Wicked. Yeah. Right. 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 It's iconic. It's iconic. It's, also, it's iconic. it's also huge, and so many people know it, and there's a reason why it's popular. <gasps> Wait, also no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm on a I roll. Doing it. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> so there is a reason why it's a smash hit, my friends. Like, it is so good. Mm-hmm. It's the musical is good, and I will tell you this. I I don't know if everyone who's done Wicked would agree with me, yeah. but the music never gets old. I'm serious. Yeah, like no, I have to agree. Yeah. In the building, on stage, performing it every single night, whether you're on stage, whether you're off stage, if you're just listening to it, you know. And let's say you're you're um, a stage manager, or you're on the crew, or you're a wardrobe person, and you're hearing the music. It doesn't it doesn't get old. Mm-hmm. It's it is so easy to listen to that every single night. Um, yeah, there's a reason why people are obsessed with it. And I would say, and being from Kansas, come on, there's a little, there's a little, there's a little Dorothy over the rainbow kind of Wizard of Oz right, moment right. for me. You know, I've played Dorothy like a thousand times growing up in Kansas. So like, right. it was, it was really special that that was my Broadway debut. So we're going to add it in the list because you gave me three. Thank you for that. <laughs> Um, with the Chicago, my teacher, honestly, okay, so I did, I, I did, like, um, dancing class back then, and my teacher made us want to do, like, uh, a musical, like, a dance to, so, like, um, learn, um, like, a scene in a musical, and she banned Perfect. Chicago because everyone wanted to do the dance so badly. All that jazz? Yes, yes. So she banned it, and I was kind of mad, because I was like, I really wanted to do it, but she was like, no, everyone constantly does it, every single year, so every single class, every yeah. single person does it, I'm tired yeah, of she doing had, it. <laughs> yeah, she did the line, she yeah. did the line. Yeah. She said, listen, no, listen. No more no, Chicago. I, <laughs> listen, that choreography is a blast. I know, like, that's why I want to do it. Harder, it's harder than you think. Mm. Do you agree? Like, it's like, so specific. Yeah, yeah. It all has you know, to be it, on it point. Might, also, it's like yes. a kind of a mood. You have to have some kind of like mood, like a like a like a feeling into it, right? Like a kind of like I don't know, like a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. yeah. You can't be like you can't be like um, I don't know. You can't do a jazzy right, and like, right. And like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, you can't be mad right, but doing right. a jazzy. There's like something exciting that mm-hmm. happens or something kind of like 
little sultry, you yeah. know. They they say sometimes too, like you dance like you have a secret. Ooh, like yeah. like you know what I, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I know like something that. you don't, don't know. know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she banned it so. and I was like I was like trying to like convince her, like, hey, maybe we could still like, you know, unban it. She was like, No, I'm I've seen it for eight years and I'm tired of it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. But listen, I hear I hear you and I know why you why everyone wants to do it. Right. But yeah. And so, anyway, yes, I would say those are my three favorite shows, but that was hard <laughs> for me because I'm just, I feel lucky to have done so many good ones, yeah. so. Okay, what is your favorite stage door memory? Oh, I have had so many special stage door moments. Meeting young people who are so in awe of the work meeting young people I think all the when you just said that I tried to like let my sense memory take over Mm -hmm. and in my brain I went like this to see the younger people do you know what I mean yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like my brain literally just like saw me looking down at these like precious babies (laughs) who have either seen their first musical for the first time Mm -hmm. at the wicked stage door or you know um I did, I did, I've done some Disney shows. I, I played Ariel and the Little Mermaid, you know, and seeing these little girls or these little yeah. boys who are just in love with the magic of it, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, those are the, I think those are the most important stage tour moments I've had mm-hmm. because I was a little, you know, I just right, told you right. no, but I still get like magical feelings when I go see a musical. Yes. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so good, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Like freaking out. Right. Yes. So I, do, I, have, I feel like, yes, love. Go I get magical feelings doing this. It's just like, oh my gosh, I'm meeting these Broadway stars. <laughs> well, you're the coolest, and I'm so happy to be here. So, <laughs> duh. Um, so, yeah, I would say I can't remember, like, one in particular, but when I think of all of them together, I think of the young, the young people that I have, you know, and it wasn't even that they were, like, in awe of me. Right. It was just that they were just so excited to yeah. be a part of it. You know, and that they had witnessed the last two and a half, three hours of of this huge thing that we just all appreciate so much. And you can tell that they appreciated it. And that's, I think, the most, you know, you know, and I go home and I go, okay, job well done. You know, <laughs> right. mission accomplished. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is your favorite scene out of any musical you've been in? My favorite scene? Scene. Okay, I have to, th- okay. Again, there's so many. There's so many. My favorite scene. Um, hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wow. Wow. These, these are some hard questions. Um, and they're not hard. They're just, you know, they're yeah. good. That means they're good. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to say that there's this moment in Chicago when Roxy sees her name in the paper for the first time. And the whole time the audience, like the audience or um, the ensemble clears the stage and Roxy is like freaking out, Mm -hmm. squealing, Mm -hmm. like, you know, and she imagines the coming of vaudeville star Mm -hmm. and the whole time, the entire scene. So it's this big monologue. Okay, there's some dance incorporated in it, but it's for the most part very free. The whole time, the bass, the man playing the bass mm-hmm. or the woman playing the bass is going do 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 it, I didn't put two and two together, mm-hmm. that that was the only underscore through the whole thing was just our bass player. And I'm like, it, it was, and I thought, oh no, should I hurry this along? Right. Because mm-hmm. bless his heart. But no, I looked up at him one show and I, because I remember when I told you it was so free, I could like do yeah, whatever yeah, I want. Yeah. I mean, you know, for the most part. Right. Yeah. One, point, one point on stage, I'm literally like, this man has been playing this <laughs> phrase 
for so long. Mm-hmm. And then, so what I did is I literally looked at him, and he looked at me, and we're on stage, and I went, and I sang it with him, and he lost his mind. And, like, the audience liked it, so I kept it in for a little while. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there are so many different fun things like that mm-hmm. that you can discover in the moment and keep things fresh and exciting. Mm-hmm. But I think I like that because it's a really big turning point for the character. But it was also so fun to just play around. Mm-hmm. And when they told me, they said, Desi, you can have fun with this and take it and run. I said, how far? Thank you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. Right. Uh-huh. And, and I said, what do you mean? What do you mean take it and run? They were like, we have had people talk to the audience, totally break the fourth wall, make up stuff go up to the conductor and grab the conductor's thing and start, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So I like that scene because it was so free and it was more about, there aren't a lot of scenes like that in musicals. Most of the scenes are scripted Mm -hmm. and most of the scenes you're telling a story and there's a specific point that you want to get across. Mm -hmm. But in that scene, the audience was just watching Roxy discover, you know, her freedom and her, and her, fame a little bit mm-hmm. so you just could kind of go for it anyway I, I went nuts a little bit sometimes it was fun <laughs> um what do you want to do in the future you guys are asking incredible questions um hopefully more of the same mm-hmm. um I want to keep I want to keep entertaining the way that I think I was made to. <laughs> I want to also keep encouraging young people, and I want to um, maybe, you know, film, TV, stuff like that. Um, I would love to write a musical. I would love to write a musical and um, be maybe on the producing side of it, which is totally a different ballgame. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of little fun goals and dreams like that. You, you know, like I guess direct? I say little. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Like, maybe musical direct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. And, like, you know, just things like that. I, I think mm-hmm. it would be really fun. Um, yeah. And just and keep writing music and keep encouraging people and keep, you know, expressing myself the way that I know how, which is artistically. Right. So. That's what I would say. That's kind of a vague answer that I just gave you, but no, hopefully. That's a really good answer. Yeah. yeah. You want to do a lot. <laughs> right. Same. I want right. to do a lot my, of my life, so I'll probably give the same vague answer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so this question is a really hard one, but what is okay. a role that you would never want to do again, and why? Whoa. Okay, thanks for the warning. You're so right. <laughs> what is a role what is a role I never want to do again and why yes yeah. but this could mean like it's because my body's at a, not, not set up to right. do it or, or my voice has changed and I can't not do even, that it's, or it's not even on Broadway anymore or yeah. something it could be anything mm-hmm. I love this this is so good um ooh. Ooh. I love it you're gonna have so much footage of me going like this <laughs> <laughs> thinking um let's see so, I don't, I was going to say, um, well, I feel like um, vocally, I have evolved a lot, and I feel like I have, my voice has settled into kind of what it wants to be, mm-hmm. um, and our voices this is kind of like a fact. Our voices right. change for a long time and they don't settle until we're well into our twenties with women and men. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I feel like I have more of that Jenna sound, mm-hmm. right? So some of those like bigger sounding roles. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, can I tell you something that I feel like is really relevant that yeah. might be mm-hmm. that I feel like is also, here's what's coming to mind for sure. I played Ava Perone in the national tour of Evita. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> the reason why I won't play it again mm-hmm. is because I don't have any kind of Argentinian Latina background at all. 
Right. And right. that that role belongs to yeah mm-hmm. someone who has some background. That background. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. I agree. So I would say off the bat, that's a role I would. I think unless there was some kind of like concert version something where I wasn't like playing the role that needed to like I think that role just belongs to somebody you know who can represent that. Right. Yeah. Um. So I would say I would say that, but. I was so grateful to have played it. Mm-hmm. So I don't, there's no regret of playing it. I was so grateful to have had that experience, but I think now we're, you know, yeah. we're getting a little more woke. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. <laughs> I totally, yeah. I totally, totally mm-hmm. agree. Yeah. 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 But yeah, was, I was grateful for the experience because the show is exciting and really, really, yeah. you know, fun and there's a lot to it. And I think people will be, um, producing it for a long time to come because it's kind of a classic and you know it's Andrew Lloyd Webber and it's mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so it's a beautiful a beautiful show and we're so glad I got to be a part of it um favorite part of doing a tour mm. favorite part of doing a tour changing location switching it up keeping it fresh mm-hmm. um there's negative sides to that because, of course, it was more draining. Right. Um, you that. know, you travel on the day off and you're, I think, kind of like I said, teaching new dressers, you know, or teaching new uh, crew um, what to do. And that can be a little bit draining, but mm-hmm. you get to meet new people. Yeah. And you get to, some of, the, some of my favorite um, connections on tour were, were working with a new dresser in every city. They kind of acted like, you know, a pal or mm-hmm. a little bit of like... Um, a big sister or a mentor or someone who could, who could, um, help me even some, some of them, even a mom, they were like, Hey, you know, are you, are you hydrated? Are you eating? And by the way, while you're here, you need to check out downtown. Here's a couple restaurants, you know, like <laughs> they're so sweet. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you know, you meet the best people because the best people, you know, are the best kind of people are people who are into the arts or doing the arts. Right. Come on. So we're able, if you're able to connect in that kind of way, like, this is amazing. So you're going to meet tons of awesome people. And, um, that was my favorite thing is seeing parts of the country that I had never gone to before. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I have some new favorite little cities where I'm like, I tell people, Hey, if you're in that neck of the woods, Mm -hmm. I've never been, I had never been to Madison, Wisconsin. And we went during the summer and it was absolutely charming. Mm -hmm. Like farmer's markets and adorableness and like, come on, this is adorable. So, you know, and, um, Greenville, South Carolina. How darling is that? Mm-hmm. Like, anyway, so these little, these towns and these cities that are little miniature metropolises that right. just, they, they deserve more credit. And, mm-hmm. and a lot of them are so proud of their downtown, you know, they're like, they're like, well, our downtown has come a long way in the last 10 years. You know, they're all so mm-hmm. proud of it. And it just is, it's good. It's good. So I, I loved um, seeing different parts of the country and meeting different people. Um, what was your favorite part of doing Payala Road, the Broadway.com vlog? I loved Payala Road. I had no idea if it was going to be good. I mean, and I just really mean that. Like, I did my best. They asked me if I wanted to participate, and I was honored. Right. <clears throat> totally honored. Mm-hmm. But but then I once, I once they sent me the camera, and they sent me, you know, the dates that they kind of wanted to put out the episodes, I was like, oh, no. I, like... <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be good at it. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't even, I don't even know, like, what do people want to see? Like, Mm -hmm. I was, so, so I just tried to kind of take the pressure off and say, you know, you know what, I'm just going to turn the camera on. So, and I have to tell you, the folks over at Broadway.com did literally all of it as far as editing. (laughs) And I have to tell you, because I sent them so much footage Mm -hmm. that it would not have been good unless they edited it in the way that they did. So big shout out. So anyway, um, I, I liked it a lot. I thought it was really fun and hopefully my cat, like my fellow castmates weren't mad at me when I was like, Hey, I'm going to throw a camera in your face and ask you a bunch of questions. And, uh, also do you mind if I film this rehearsal? You know, (laughs) I loved it, honestly. And, like, the thing yeah. with the Broadway.com vlogs is they don't have to be a lot because yeah. us theater kids will take anything. And no, I love it. I love seeing, like, mm-hmm. in, like, the characters, like, you know, like, the the Broadway actors live, like, what they do and, like, how they mm-hmm. act, interact with, like, the cast. I really love, like, looking at that. You don't, you don't see that, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So I really, I like those. I really enjoy them. Yes. You're right. It is a special little insight into, mm-hmm. it's just really things that you wouldn't see. 
no, even no. if it's just your dressing room or, or backstage or so you're right well that means a lot that you enjoyed it i really appreciate it i had fun doing it for yeah. sure now we're gonna play a game and so we have three games you can choose two or one of them or whatever so the first game is put a finger down and so you have 10 fingers and we give you a prompt and if it's happened you put a finger down and the second game is guess the musical and we're gonna give you like little like short prompts you have to guess it and then if you don't get it the first time you have clues to help you and the last game is called roll call and so we'll also give you a prompt for example role that your family loves the most and you'll say which role that is fun yes okay i definitely want to do the finger game okay, okay. and maybe the roll call one okay if we have okay. time mm -hmm. so first one put a finger down if you rejected plants because of rehearsal Oh my goodness, yes. Put a finger down if you cried at closing night. Oh, yes. Lay in. Lay <laughs> in. Broadway was sobbing, sobbing my eyes out. Put a finger down if you've been noticed on the street. Yeah. yeah. Put a finger down if you interacted with that theater girl. <laughs> Put a finger down if a famous person came to your show. Put oh my goodness, this is going so fast. <laughs> Put a finger down if you ever farted or burped on stage. I don't think I can put a finger down. Oh, I can't you know. Nice. You're the first one. No, I'm the first one. So I really, this is also a fun fact about me, like, I don't, oh, so weird, I don't burp. Like, I can't burp. Uh -huh. Like, it's very weird. Anyway. Like, even when you drink, like, a cold soda, you can't do it? No, I've tried my whole life. Like, I think I've literally accidentally burped once, and I was like, oh, what happened? Like, it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre, you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I kid you not. And anybody who's close to me knows. They're like, no, I've literally never heard her burp. I, I, so anyway, I'm not trying to be a princess. Right, right, like, right, 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 right. Yeah, so anyway, you're like, what's wrong with her digestion? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I might say, I might not put a finger down for that, to be very honest. Okay, okay. Nice. Put a finger down if you've ever fallen on stage. Well... Of course, I just right. told you that. Put a finger down if your voice cracked on stage. Oh my goodness, yes, certainly. Again, we're not robots, babies. Mm -hmm. Put a finger down if you got gifts from fans. Sweetest ones were from Waitress when they got me pie things. Oh, so, that's nice. Oh. Put a finger down if you played multiple roles in the show. Yes, I was, I've was. i been a swing. I've been mm -hmm. a swing before. Oh. Cover everybody. Oh, well, you almost did it, but yeah. I think the one that you didn't get is pretty good. You didn't yeah. burp you didn't even, you, didn't, you didn't. You never passed gas at all, ever. I mean, maybe, like, without, I not that I can literally recall. Yeah, like, recall. Oh okay, yeah. Wait, but that's kind of fun, actually, that I, like, had one left over. I feel like I won. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most, yeah. People, most people, when we say that, um, fart or burp, when they, like, and they have oh, all those, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, they definitely get yeah, that. Yeah, and they so. have funny stories behind it. Yeah, so. Uh -huh. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is so funny. So, um, what famous people went to the show? Like any show you've ever been in? Oh yes, we've had um famous political people, we've had celebrities, we've had movie stars, we've had um oh yeah, TV stars, and you know, you go and you take a picture backstage and you do the whole thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We've met well, you meet lots of famous people that way because they, <laughs> everybody everybody deserves to go to a show. Right, right. right. Yes. But they make it a fun thing and they use it as a little publicity, you know, mm -hmm. um, opportunity to say, hey, this person came, so should you. Right, you know? you're right. Um, yeah. So what was your interaction with that theater girl? Oh, honey, that theater girl. We all have, you should, you should we said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sadly. You know what? They make, everyone makes the world go round, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that theater girl. I love that you said this as a question. This is hilarious because <laughs> you're literally saying that in, that like, theater, italics. Yes. Right. <laughs> and we all know without even, like, literally, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, honey. Everyone's journey is their journey, you know, so we just have to accept everyone and love everyone, right? right? Yeah. No matter what. We had yes. one guy say that that theater girl <laughs> went to go see the show, and while watching the show, yeah. wrote him notes <laughs> about what he could do better and then she the had, show. And then, and then she asked for a picture after she, like, literally, like, offended him. Yes. <laughs> it was like, Sophie. Like, I know, I just was rude, but can I still get a picture? Yeah. It's crazy, honey. It really is. And, 
you can't expect everybody to know the etiquette and it's tough. Mm -hmm. It's tough. So a lot of the times we, in the theater community, which you included, right? Mm -hmm. You, you know, you know, the etiquette, you know how to write. And, and there's a certain kind of, there are do's and don'ts, my friends. There are do's and don'ts. And anyway, um, yeah, you just, we all kind of can snicker at it or laugh a little bit. Right, right. (laughs) They don't know any better. Mm -hmm. They don't know any better. So, um, who noticed you on the street? Like, how was your interactive with, like, your fan that noticed you? Occasionally, I get stopped in, we'll be walking in Times Square, Mm -hmm. you know. It's Mm -hmm. mostly, mostly in Times Square, I would say, um, because that's where theater goers are in New York. And, um they'll, uh, they're often aware of the fact that, you know, Broadway artists could be around. And so they'll, and not, not creepily, just literally like, no, oh my goodness. And so several times they'll be, it was most of the time again in Times Square and they'll say, you're Jesse Oakley, I saw you in whatever, whatever, and Mm -hmm. ask for a quick picture or, you know, a little autograph or just even a conversation really Mm -hmm. quickly. Um, So sweet. Yes, I love that. And also I've been, I've also, when I was on tour, a lot of the same cities, a lot of the shows go to the same cities, right? So mm-hmm. I would go to the same city that I had been before with right. a different yeah. show. And so occasionally walking around the theater or being around downtown, somebody would stop me and say, hey, did you play XYZ? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I think I've seen you right. in mm-hmm. the show. And so it's often in or around, you know, um, the Broadway community. And so, yes, it's always so sweet. And I'm always like, oh my gosh, you know, I like, don't have any makeup on, you know, I'm like, don't take a picture right now. <laughs> I'm so rabid today. I'm, I'm yeah. in the same way. I, I would hate to take a picture and I look like crap. Right. So, you, but you have to be nice. You have to be like, yeah, take a picture, but. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, we can pose. We can take a look. Like, like a, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> covering the face. So it's time for quick round. So, Quick Round is a series of, like, rapid-fire questions. Very fast. Okay. Yes. Hey, I can do it. I can do it. Um, favorite Halloween costume? I win as a bubble bath. Harry Potter house? Gryffindor. Favorite holiday? Valentine's Day. Favorite song? <laughs> Somewhere with a rainbow! <laughs> favorite actor? Jim Carrey. Favorite food? French fries. Favorite musical? Oh! Okay, cover away. That's what we will say. Favorite color? Orange. Favorite beverage? Topo Chico sparkling mineral water. Oh, that sounds like on point. Um, favorite place to eat in New York? Mm. Oh my goodness, so many. Uh, any any uh, restaurant in the West Village. Biggest pet peeve? Um... Any cloth or napkin on teeth? Mm-hmm. Ah! Favorite sitcom? Um, How I Met Your Mother. Favorite costume? Oh my goodness. Um, uh, the uniform in the uniform in waitress because it was so comfortable and I got to wear sneakers. Favorite animal? Um, giraffe. Our mom loves giraffes. Yeah, <laughs> she loves she yeah. loves them. Eyelashes. Yes, and they're, just, they're like magical, mystical creatures. <laughs> um, what other roles would you want to play in Waitress or Wicked? Uh, other roles? Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like Madame Morrible is in my future. Come on, oh, yeah. and right? right, and then um, another role in Waitress. I would love to play Dawn. Yes, okay, I yeah, I like Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. But I also uh, see you. Or, I was going to say, or Ogie. <laughs> <laughs> Gender bent Ogie, I right, see Right, right, right. Come on! But I feel like I have like a bubbly attitude like Glinda. I'd love to see with Glinda. Glinda. Yeah. I could I could do that. No, I could no, do that. 100%. I think you can do Glinda. Yeah. Oh, great. Maybe I'll work. I'll start working on it on my voice lessons. <laughs> um, favorite sport? Um, I just recently got into pickleball. Oh, I never heard of that. I'm so into it. Favorite role to play? Mm, Jenna. Favorite movie? I 
have so many. Um, uh, honestly, to go with what the theme that I said earlier with Jim Carrey, it's his his version of The Grinch. Oh, yes. Favorite dance style? Um, favorite dance style? Uh, to do myself, mm-hmm. tap. Yeah. Um, favorite pop star? Taylor Swift. Favorite dance number in Wicked or Waitress? Hmm. One Short Day. Wicked. Favorite book? Um, I'm currently almost done with um, Educated. Gorgeous so far. I, so it's amazing. Favorite theater saying? Favorite theater what? Saying. Oh, saying. Yeah. Um, like, thank you, Ten. <laughs> when someone's like, this is your 10 minute, yeah, this is your yeah. 10 minute call. Thank you, 10. Mm-hmm. Thank you, whatever. Yeah. And then anybody just says like, thank you to whatever. They're mm-hmm. like, okay, everyone, you know, we, we need to make sure our, you know, our sign-ins are accurate. Okay. Thank you. Sign- thank you. Accurate sign-ins. Thank you. You know what I mean? Or like, what? <laughs> um, it's my favorite saying thank you before anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yep. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> that was so fun. I got a little nervous because I, I tend to be long-winded. So. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can get every update. And come back next week for Danny Quadrino. Woo! So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.